Hey, what's up coin hunters and welcome to a look, finally a proper look at the Royal Mint 2021 annual coin set with me Richie. Now I got my paintbrush that I used in the decimal day video. Um, so if I want to point things out, I will use that. But yeah, it's here. It's in a plastic packet, which I don't know how long that's going to last for. I'll just put that over there. So, as you can see, it comes in a cardboard sleeve. Kind of reminds me of the old VHS covers. Um, they used to get to record. On the front, it's got the Royal Mint. It has this nice embossed um, textile, textured um, Royal Mint logo, the bit that's on the top there, which feels really, really nice. Um, underneath, obviously, we've got the 2021 United Kingdom Brilliant Uncirculated Annual Coin Set. On the side, let's turn it around. There we go. We've got a nice purple, um, what's it called, spine, with the same information that's on the front. Then on the back, we've got barcode, some information up here. Then here, celebrate, collect, invest, secure, discover. Secure. And then you've got the copyright information there. Pretty cool. Then as you first open it, you have the queen looking back at you. Um, then it's got the front of the five pound coin. As we turn it over, get rid of that um, uh, thingy there. You've got the actual smaller coin, regular like change coinage. Um, so we have the two pence and the 10 pence along the top. Underneath that, the 25 and one pence. 50 pence on its own, and then the £2 and £1 there. I was hoping this was going to be the year they surprise us with a brand new um, design on the coinage. I think that would have been really, really nice if they would have done that. But obviously they haven't because as you turn it over, we still have the shield design, which is outdated by five years, I think. As soon as we changed the pound coin, we should have changed all of these straight away. Um, I don't know if it was just being lazy by the Royal Mint, but I believe that once we changed this, we should have got new designs on all of these. Um, maybe a new design of Britannia on the 50 pence and other new designs there. We did get a new design in 2015 of the two pound coin which was refreshing but we still got an outdated um, small change set there so underneath it we have the information of all the different coins how much they weigh diameter uh, the alloy and obviously what the nomination is two pound coin we get all the information there then as we open it again, we start off with the 95th birthday five pound coin for the queen. And I think this coin is stunning. You know, Royal Mint have really done well this year. Um, apart from a few little niggles I'm gonna talk about with a certain one. Um, but yeah, the actual um, five pound coin is gorgeous. So let's bring it up to the camera so you can see it properly. There you go really really stunning design on that one celebrating the Queen's 95th birthday um, I can't say anything bad about this one um, I will try and get a nice photo of this area so you guys I might make a slideshow um, video with a bit of music or I might just put it on the community page probably do the bit of music bit make it a little bit fancy right so on from the a five pound coin, we get to our 50 P's and our two pound coins. I do like that they've done it 50 to 52 like that. Really like the idea of doing that. So the first one we come across is the decimalization. 
50 pence piece again a stunning stunning um, design on that one there we go with all the pre decimal let's get it centered there we go all the pre decimal um, coinage piled up on there that is lovely would like to see that in a two pound coin as well just to see how it would look I think that would be really really nice as well but I think because obviously the 50 pence at the time was the main big deal um, so I was told by my mother <laughs> who was around them days um, that was like the real big deal and I get from like my dad who's a bit older than my mom um, what you could buy with 50p apparently you could go to the pub buy a load of drinks and still have enough money to go get some food at the end of it and now I look at it and I was like you can't even get a chocolate bar right so after we've got the decimal Realization. we have now it's still a nice looking coin but it's wrong now I am a really big War of the Worlds fan and I have this fella here this is what's called a tripod royal mint and it has one two three three legs see it stands up with three legs your idea of a tripod and now I have seen the explanation artistic license and all that type of thing it doesn't make sense I can understand artistic license and tweaking the design a little bit on the tripod but when you've got four legs on what's a tripod so you've got one two three four you can see it there that's redesigning or like Westminster are doing with their 1969 penny you're changing history because there was no 1969 small penny um, some people have said about the hat as well on the um, invisible man now I have looked it up and there is different versions of the invisible man and uh, there is a couple of um, different pictures of him with a different style of hat so I'm gonna let that slide on that but four legs on a tripod nah that that that's not artistic design that's a um, a blunder so we're gonna move on now and we're gonna look at making the making of TV television so this one here celebrates John Longy Bird I hope I've pronounced that right. He was a Scottish engineer and he was basically an innovator of television. So he was one of them pioneers who made TV what TV is. And without him, basically, this video wouldn't even be made because there would have been no television. Um, how we have it now. Now, they do say about the first. Um, B oh, is it transmission of the BBC? So I thought at first this was Alexandra Palace, but I've since learned it's Crystal Palace, or there's a um, television and uh, thing up in that area, which it is, and then you've got the television signal radiating out, and then in between, let me bring it closer. In between, you can ha you can see there all the different. Um, defining moments of his life and if you look at the bottom you've got oh, it's 1888 1946 so his birthday and the birth year and the year he died as well um, again a really 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 nice um, coin there um, I would love it if they both went into circulation so I can put them in my um, folder um, but just having them like this, I don't mind. I don't mind at all not being able to put them in the folder because I know they're here. And then we've got Sir Walter Scott. Now with Sir Walter Scott, I haven't really delved in too much about what he did and things like that, but I will learn right now. So interest. So with a keen interest in Scottish homeland, so with the 
Okay. So yeah, and there's Sir Walter Scott's coin, very simple with him on, um, and the anniversary of his birth, basically. So if we turn it over, someone's going to be like in the comments having a go at me about my non-knowledge. So, so <laughs> on the other side, we obviously have the front of the coin. Um, so at the top here, we've got 1771, uh, the 250th anniversary of the birth of Sir Walter Scott. And obviously we have the portrait here of the Queen in two pound format. Again, uh, 1946, celebration of the life and work of John Longy Bird. Um, portrait there. Then we have 1946, celebrating the life and work of H.G. Wells, one of the best writers, in my opinion, um, ever. Then you can see there's a nice statue here of him holding an, something, I don't know what that is, um, <laughs> and then again just the same two pound coin, then it changes up a bit, we have 1971 the 50th anniversary of the Deci of decimal day with the second portrait of the queen, now I really like the way they've set this out, I like, I would love if they just did that keep it simple as simple as that on the coinage that we have now that I can see some marks but I can also see some like reflections of the coin so it's not like a Westminster collection when you're going to open it and there's already marks on it which yeah but then you can see I'm not going to talk about that um, someone holding a penny and I, I happen to have a penny right here so let's recreate kind of recreate oh let's get a bit lower there we go that actual photo there we go pretty cool so I do really like this year's annual set um, what do you think of it <laughs> which one's your favorite let's open it back up which one's your favorite out of all of these I am gonna go decimal day it would have been HG Wells if the tripod didn't have four legs. I'm going to go decimal day with that one. So, so far in 2021, decimal day is my favorite. And I can't wait to see what the dinos are going to look like. And I'm going to butcher the pronunciations of every single one of them. So, bear with me with that. Um, what else are we getting? We are getting... Um, Mr. Men. Now I think they may be in 10 pence form and fingers crossed they go out into circulation and there is loads of them so everyone can get them. That is amazing. To me, out of all the ones they brought out with the cartoons, this is the main one for me because I grew up watching Mr. Men um, when I was little. Um, also we got Winnie the Pooh. 50 pence is coming out. Now I have noticed they don't tend to, unless it's something special like the Captain Cook or like an RAF or military thing, they haven't been bringing out too many £2 coins so it could be a possibility maybe that these are going to be the only ones um, unless I've missed something. Um, but it'll be cool to see what the packaging is going to look like when they bring out the BU sets of them. They've already brought this one out which is, it was in my last coin review video, I've got, still got it here. So there, so that's that one there. And then I'm wor um, wondering what these ones are going to look like. They're all going to look pretty cool, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so which one out of these five is your favorite? I'm going to say number one is this, number two, number three, number four, and number five. That's my um, order. Let me know in the comments what your order is. So guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video of me waffling along about the 2021 annual coin set i had to actually look at the date then because i almost said 2020 and yeah let me know in the comments um in order from one to five one being the your favorite which ones you like the best 
So guys, thank you very, very much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe um, and help our channel out. And I will see you in the next one. So take care, guys, and happy coin hunting. Goodbye.